Hi guys, Alex McCarthy here from TalkSport and I'm delighted to say that I'm joined today by the Celtic Warrior himself, the new comeback king, Seamus, how you doing bud? I'm doing fantastic mate, how are you doing? I'm all the better for seeing you my friend, um, it, it, as we discussed off camera, I've uh, recently been back in the gym, but uh, not as much as, as you, how, uh, how's all that going for you? It's going good, I have plenty of time to do it, you know, uh, it's been it's a bit eye opening for me as well, like I've, I've been learning a lot, especially with the, my YouTube channel Celtic Warrior Workouts, just working out with different people, and you know, Everyone's got their own style, so I'll pick stuff out of that that I really like and I'll incorporate into my workouts. But um, yeah, I've dropped a lot of weight. I'm doing, I'm still doing fast cardio every morning, half an hour, and then I'll probably go, I'll eat whatever, do my thing, and then I'll train again later on that day. And then sometimes I'll do work, kickbox and stuff. But it's very important for me. It's been very important for me to come back in in the shape that I want to be in. Mm. Um, I've had enough time off, so no excuses. So I um, feel better than ever. I mean, um, we also spoke about your. The chance, you know, some of the episodes that I've watched, the one with uh, Ty Lee is, Lee is crazy. Uh, you know, to anyone who hasn't subscribed to Kelly Warrior Workouts, please do because it is a really good watch. And as you say, very diverse in terms of the workouts and the talents involved. Um, but quickly touch on that one because that left you run ragged, did it not? It did. It did. <laughs> I, I got warned about it by uh, so uh, Sasha Banks was telling me about it, and like I've worked out with a lot of people, Becky Lynch and um, uh, John Cena, Batista. And that's just like, I, I need, you know, I don't have time to get just to everybody, but I'll be going in like 200 workouts. But uh, no, I heard about her. So, people don't know as I is, she's a Chinese female WWE NXT superstar. Unbelievable. Uh, she's like, she was a personal trainer in China. I think she's got background in Jiu Jitsu and CrossFit and all sorts of mad stuff. And uh, she she kicked my ass, man. She, I was, I, at the end of the work, I like, I was literally like hanging by a thread and I was crawling to the end of the workout and by the end I took my t-shirt out and I rang it and it was like taking a, it was like taking a mop I yeah 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 when you take it out of the bucket you just dip the mop in the bucket right that's that's how wet my t-shirt was and like you said people weren't having it but that was that proper was, sweat that was proper Pure sweat. sweat that was 100% proper sweat like I've been guilty in the, before in the past for stuff like like doing a commercial advert where I just spray my shirt whatever yeah, yeah, like yeah. to make it look you know like, but this this was real, man. This was uh, it took me it took, it took me a while to get over this workout. She's insane, but she's she's incredible. She's going to be a huge star for WWE. Yeah, one hundred percent. Yeah. Now we all know, obviously, uh, we've seen you back now on SmackDown. Uh, everyone's excited now for the the. It's, it's like the old Sheamus, right? He's new, but he's old. He's got that retro look. Seamus 1.0. Yeah. 1 Circa like 2012. But, but better. But yeah. better. Like I, I look back at some of the stuff in 2012 and I think to myself, man, like, well, what, like you know, we don't really have, should have any excuses. You know, we're professional athletes. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, it's WWE. And I look back at some of the stuff and I'm like, man, what was my excuse? You know, and I didn't really take my diet as seriously, you know, as I did, as I do now. And that's the thing now. Like I, I look at my first 10 years as just, a dress rehearsal as like like what do you say like yeah like you know just, that's, like, like your eyes are open now my eyes are open now yeah mm. i had a word for that it's, <laughs> that's, that's the, <laughs> just the about, beginning the, the, yeah yeah in, in terms of like creative then for, for wanting to go back to the old look and the way you've come back um was that a very much collaborative effort was that something you wanted to do yeah it was something i wanted to do mate i i went back and i got this I got these notebooks of ideas from creative <laughs> with like like a small mustache and like suspenders and uh, like the hair <laughs> ticked over to the side. I kind of want it. <laughs> mate, mate, I, I, I'd like, one of them I looked exactly like Jack Gallagher for who's a 205 yeah, guy. Yeah, yeah. I was like, British lad. You know, I said, do you know, we have one of these the person like, who looks like this here, you know that, right? And it was just, I was just like, man, I. I if I did any of that, if I did any of those pictures, man, I, I just I'd be done. I would have been toast. <laughs> the amount of slaggins I would have got, and that would have just been off my granny. Yeah, yeah. Do you know what I mean? Uh, it just it was terrible. But the, you know, we just went so far with the, the mohawk. The mohawk was done. I thought about it, uh, and it was just like creatively me. You know, I have a guy I work with as well, Ray, and we just like talked about it, and it was like so shocking, you know. And I got that reaction. You look stupid and stuff, and it was got a great reaction. It was mm. completely different because we. Just, we just hit a roadblock with you, whatever it was. So the you know, like you can't go further than that. You know yeah, what I mean? So of course. it made sense. People were asking for it on the channel, on social media, bring back the old Seamus. So um, 
I did, man, and uh, I want to bring back the all music too, but uh, you know, you get certain things you can get, certain things you can't, you know what I mean? Oh, um, yeah. But yeah, it's very important, like the, especially the spirit of the Celtic warrior, that, that vibe, that kick ass, you know, Celt, you know, that warrior vibe, it just, it's just to me, it was just, it made sense. One thing I do want to talk about is there were so many rumours swirling around while you were out, right? Everyone was like, he's got this, he's, you know, they're saying you're neck, they're saying you're done, you might have had your last match, etc, etc. Um, and, and of course, you, you stayed quiet on the matter, and, we, and then people were like, well, is he going to come back? Which actually made your comeback all the greater, because it was surprising. Um, talk to us. In the backstage you know, promo. Yeah, exactly. It, that, that landed for everyone, I think, it, on, socially. Um, and then we did six, 16 of them. <laughs> that's always no, the just, way. Yeah, no, that's not joking. But um, when um, when it comes to the, the rumors, that, you know, let's address some things. A the neck. How how is that? Is everything perfectly fine? Is it something that you've worked through? Uh, and you know, I, I guess. And B, how hard was it to 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 not say no? I'm not done yet. Like address every single rumor. Well, the truth is, uh, <coughs> I wasn't ready to be done. There are things that pop into your head, like in doubts and saying like, oh, am I done? You know, um, I got a bad concussion. Uh, just after Mania, and I, I felt it was kind of burnt out too. Like I felt like me and Cesaro, um, as great as it's, as a tag team we were, you know, we'd already won the title five times, uh, and I feel like we just creatively there was no direction for us at the time. And yeah. I, I, I guess we we're both burnt out. And you know, the thing was, we went back at that Raw after Mania, man, and it was we interrupted that uh, that Kofi um, set match, and we were supposed we weren't supposed to be there. We had a call like a like couple hours before we went on there, and. You know, the crowd just shit in it. And it was just like, you know, we just, we just felt the point where just like, you know, we didn't see where, you know, it was just, we hit that roadblock. Yeah. And I was burnt out too, and I was having some, I wasn't feeling great. And, uh, you know, I went away for a while, but like, I just, I worked my ass off, man. Like, I had so much fun work with, like, Rest with Cesaro, and like, we created a legacy with the bar. There's yeah, no doubt 100%. about it. And sometimes, you know, you, you know, you don't want that to be diminished. So sometimes it's good to get away for a while, you know, because we can always go back to that, you know yes. what I mean? Uh, but like, I feel, I felt like, I was just, I felt like it was time to, there's a lot more to accomplish as a singles wrestler, uh, the Intercontinental Championship, for example. And I went back and I worked my ass off, mate. Like, I said, tell us, and I'm not trying to be like, oh, you know, I'm, I'm great, I'm this and that, but I could easily come back and be like, well, I've won all these titles and yeah. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna live off that and just, you know, collect a paycheck. For me, it was, it was, it was like, I went off and I just, I started doing fast cardio every morning. I started kickboxing. I started uh, tuning up my diet with the help of a really good friend of mine, Jerry. I started like, just like taking my training like to another level. Like, you know, I, it was just, I, in my mind, I was starting again. Yeah. And, and that's the way I, I was telling someone earlier on, like, I feel now I'm in the ring, like, I'm going out there thinking I haven't achieved anything. That there's all that stuff I've achieved or not because that's that's how passionate I am. Like and sometimes you feel like, well I have this, this and this. If you if you wipe that out of the equation and you go in there like you're starting fresh and starting again and you got lots of like to show and prove, which mm -hmm. I do, it, it just keeps the hunger there, it keeps the passion there. And that's the same with the channel, the YouTube channel, Celtic Warrior Workouts. I'm super passionate about that. And the one thing that makes it work and people like is that there's no ego, man. It's mm -hmm. just like I I put myself in these positions where I don't come out, I always come out like, like on the floor or, <laughs> or wrecked or knackered. And, uh, and, and that's the whole idea is like, it's, it's, you know, all I know is I know nothing. And the reason I say that is because I'm, I'm, I'm the person watching at home who's, who wants to make that change, that brave change to start working out and they see me and they see me fail and falter, but I get through the workout. Yeah. And, and that's what it's all about. And same with wrestling. It's like, I'm going in there in the mentality now that like, I've got no accolades behind me. And I want to prove to everybody what I can do and what I can, and what I can win and what I can achieve. Yeah. WWE, the first one was warm up. That's what it was. The first yeah. ten years of the <laughs> there you go. This is this is the main event now for me. So so to confirm, everything all fit and healthy, no like, neck problems, we're all good, ready to roll. Yeah, it forced me to like I go to physical therapy too. Like it just not that, nothing injured, but like working on my form, working on my my posture, my thoracic uh, spine. Yeah, like a lot of stuff that that, I, that you'd have that people have anyway. They like, just not by being in the ring, but just like by sitting at a desk all day or stuff like that. So I worked on, I try and I'm tuning my fine tuning my body. I'm working on the stuff that's that, that needs to be strengthened. Working on working on my all my weak points. And I don't throw heavy weights around anymore. That's another thing. That's I think that's just another ego thing. And I feel better, you know. Mm. And I just I feel I just feel better than I did ten years ago. I feel better when I did when I started in the WWE. 
Uh, a couple of things before I know that you're going to just going on with that too. No, no, please do. Like it, mate. <laughs> also, also, no gluten, no dairy. <laughs> no, trust, yeah. trust me, I feel so much better without dairy. I wanted to touch on Cesaro actually because you just brought him up in, in that uh, monologue. Um, he, you know, as long as Ricky Gervais one. <laughs> <laughs> I um, and, and and this is, I feel like we talk about this every so often because Cesaro is is that talented. But just in 2019, like what he did for uh, Dragunov in NXT UK, Mansur in Saudi Arabia, and it seems that WWE always use him as that guy, and the fans always react to how good he is, right? Do you think they're ever actually going to use him in the way that we all seem to see him? Is it, is it, is it we're all mad or not? <laughs> no, I think, I think uh, Cesaro or Big Tony, we all <laughs> call him, he needs, to, uh, he needs to stay the course. And... Uh, He's incredibly talented. He could reasonably get that talented. Kofi Kingston moment. But that's the thing. That's up to the fans. Mm. Like it's up to the fans. The fans gave Kofi that moment. Exactly. They're the ones who highlighted it for him. So if the fans realize that they have the power, same thing happened with Daniel Bryan. They have the power, like to do that. They have the power. And and here's the thing. Sometimes it's like there's always that shiny new penny, you know. And there's a lot of NXT guys come up. Great talent from NXT. You know, I'm super, you know, um, Buddy Murphy's doing great. Alistair Black's doing yeah. great. Elias doing great. You know what I mean? And then, uh, you know, obviously from uh, the women's wrestlers, you've had some great ones over the years, like Sasha come up, Alexa Bliss, Becky, who's doing great. So, you know, you always have all new, new talent coming in, the Iconics came in, you know what I mean? So you've got a lot of these new talents, but like, it's up to the fans, man. The fans have to have, have, have weight behind what they want. Yeah. And, and they, can, they can show Big Tony the support because he is the most talented in-ring performer. Without a doubt, I'm super glad he's not wearing those bleeding those long pants anymore. <laughs> he came out rocking new gear two weeks ago, and he looks phenomenal. Like he looks better than anybody on the roster, no. you know. So uh, he just Tony just needs to stay the course, and uh, I'm I'm 100 sure it's gonna happen. Yeah, me too. And I'll, I love it to happen, and I'm excited when it do, when it does. I'll be the first person there to, to see him when he comes back because we've been through me and Tony have been through a hell of a lot together. Uh, through thick and thin, we've um, had each other's backs, and sometimes when you're in a tag, it's a, you know you do a lot when you're a solo s superstar, but when yeah. you're in a tag team, you share a lot of the weight. Yes, and it's cool, you know. Sometimes that's 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 a good thing. My closing thought uh, or question, I should say, when you won the Royal Rumble in 2012, right? I mm. feel like that was one of the last great wins where people were like, oh wow, like it, bit of a left field winner because you had all of these yeah. big big stars in it. Um, how was that like for you, like in terms of we got told on the day, uh, we did you know in advance? Because obviously you went on to the Daniel Bryan match, right? Yeah. That was a quick thing. Was that always the creative? Was it kind of just happening like this? Well, so people think that Jericho was supposed to to win the Rumble, but I mean that's not like that. that as far as I knew, that was never the case. Um, but you know, I don't like I can't. Certain things you can't go into too much. But yeah, don't be. I, 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 had, I had an idea. I had an idea. Yeah, and it just if anyone want to make sure that it's great, and Jericho was great with me at the end. That 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 thing we had at the very end was was awesome. Like mm -hmm. working around and the, the teas and stuff. Because I think a lot of people did think that Jericho was going to do it. Um, funny thing is, I got a just before that match, I got a stoy in my eye. Right, <laughs> uh, right. So my eye attacks. I like wrestling injury. The day of the rumble, right. <laughs> Just always hanging down as a stoner. Everyone's making, taking the piss out of me. Hunter, all the guys, whatever, like, because oh, yeah, I literally, the one day, right? Could have happened any other day. <laughs> and then, uh, you know, I was, I just, I look back at those pictures, man, and that's what motivated me. I looked up, man, I like, I could, I should have been in such better shape for that, you know? And, uh, but that's what it is, you know, we, we're never, we're not perfect people. We just, we always try and make ourselves better as best we can, mm. and improving each other. Um, but yeah, I've had a lot of great, a lot of great moments, but I, don't, I just don't have time to sit back and watch, or, or, or just be like, "Oh, it was great." And now I'm like, I need to make, I want to make new, new moments. You need the icy title, man. I need the icy title, and then I need to start all over again. <laughs> yeah, exactly. It's like uh, resetting the game, you know. When you, when your man comes in and pulls the plug, <laughs> and you're like at level twenty, you're like, "Ah, oh, no!" <laughs> you know what I'm talking about, right? Ah, uh, the good today. My missus does it now. What are you doing? <laughs> Oh, sorry, I didn't know. Don't you have homework to do? <laughs> anyway. Put the kids to bed. 
Uh, or if you had a, if you had a Commodore 64, but you're too, uh, you're too. Oh, uh, I was more of a SNES Sega drive. That, that was me, Mega Drive SNES. See, you're spoiled. I, <laughs> I, I, I had the tape deck where you had to press every time you had to go up to the level, you put to reset the counter or whatever it was and rewind the tape. Or when you died in yeah. the game, you had to rewind the tape. Or you'd pause it forever because you didn't want to lose your spot. Good yeah, day. just leave it going for five <laughs> yeah, days. Exactly. The whole thing's overheating. The the sky high. <laughs> <laughs> it's hot. No, no, no. It's ground. It's ground. It's ground. Uh, well, I'm getting the wrap up sign. Um, even though it's been an absolute delightful to have you, Seamus. I think you're doing fantastic. Thank you so very glad much. to see you back. I Love the YouTube it. channel. Uh, and Thank thanks you. for talking to us, man. Keep it locked with Talksport.